Shalom and more praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone who rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is um, another news and prophecy um, coming at you once again. Um, you know, bringing the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the Bible, which shall be the stability of these times, as it tells you in um, Isaiah 35 and 33 and 6. All right. Um, we're warning you, man, in the name of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's name, and in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, of things to come, all right? All these prophecies that are playing out before you are basically signs to let you know the time of the season and to prepare you for, like, to prepare you for the, the, the coming of the Lord, the one the world called, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shai, okay? the evening standard up to 11 more storms to batter britain over autumn and winter so we've got 11 storms scheduled to come over to the western side of the hemisphere showing you the magnitude of the times we're in when you compare it to the same thing that happened um over in the western hemisphere man all right storm brian and storm off of leah um lashed the UK and Ireland this week, but the worst may be still to come, with up to 11 more storms reportedly forecast over the autumn and winter. Meteorologists have put the succession of tempests down to a storm factory. Yeah, and you know that could be Esau's um, um, heart program, his weather manipulation technologies that the Lord's blessed him with, basically to ramp up this destruction coming to the, the time, man. We're in the time of the birth pains and the closer um, the baby comes, um, the, the closer when a woman's in um, the delivery room in labor, the closer the, the baby's coming to dropping out, the, the, more, the more consistent the pains get, all right? The Sunday Times reported, the forecast was made by AccuWeather, an international meteorologic um, group which told the paper this number of storms would be a record, doubling the amount last year. See? Um, after a Aileen and Brian, the next name storms would be Caroline, Dylan, Eleanor, Fionn, Georgina, Hector, Ion, James, Karen, Larry, and Maeve, if predictions are correct. So they even got James in the mix, which James goes back to the lush one, the Hebrew. Um, Jacob, which in a lush one called Dash, which is a Paleo Hebrew, will be Yaquab or Yaquab, all right, which means a planter. And then even that goes that James goes into the um, King James, who was actually black, so called black nobility over the the UK, because our people were ruling during the time of the Dark Ages. We were the knights, all right? And um, King James was part of the plantagenic, um, the plantagens, I believe, the house of the plantagens, all right? Last winter, British storms got only as far as Ewan. Um, wind gusts could push past 120 miles per hour with storms expected to cause floods and repeated travel chaos, all right? So that's going to bring some Disorder to the UK, all right? Um, yeah, that's that's really it, man. So we'll show you these prophecies coming to pass. This is Luke 21. I want to read 11 and I'm going to... Actually, I'll just jump down to the point. 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sun and the waves war, the sea and the waves roaring. And that's what you saw in this image right here, man. The sea roaring. Okay? These are biblical prophecies playing out in these last days, and there shall be signs in the sun. Now, what you got to remember, what you got to bring into mind is that Ever since the total eclipse happened over in America, 
all hell is breaking loose, man. And if you, Apostle Taha, the head of Great Millstone, the um, elder, the, uh, elder Apostle basically said that. What did he say? He said, um, "This is a year of death, destruction, and diligence." All right, so death and destruction to who? The wicked people, wicked of our own people, the Israelites, who according to the Bible, biblical prophecy, is the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and all, all our descendants dispersed across the world. But then also, who is it as well? It's, I mean, sorry, but also the other wicked is these other nations, and Esau being the actual son of the wicked, Satan in the flesh. All right? So like I was saying, this is a um, an image that I come across on social media. Uh, watch and watch and pray. Told solo clips. Since then, you had mass shooting. You had large fires. Okay, you got those forest fires going on. Oh, and that reminds me. Okay, what you know? You had the the stars in in the heaven. You had what Esau was trying to claim. You had the the, the sun. London man I gotta speak from London I heard it was The country over But where I was at man I walked out When the, the, the I was outside When the sky turned orange man And that shit was It looked like The, the end scene of um, Knowing Okay When you see the end scene Of knowing When the The sun's rays Are slowly You know Getting closer and closer To the earth And they had like An orange tinge that's what you had, they were calling it apocalyptic orange, okay? The sky went apocalyptic orange. And that's what it looked like. And you had a lot of people in distress. But then also you had people that didn't even give two shits, to be honest, okay? But that was a sign. Then the next day, you had the sky went dark. It went, it went, even the day when it was, when, what orange? They turned on the street lights at like two in the afternoon. Two, three o'clock in the afternoon. That's how dark it got, okay? And then the next day, around, like, midday, the sky went black, okay? Like, it, it darked out, it darkened out to where it was, like, basically, like, the sun setting. And they were blaming it on what they said was a large fires over in Portugal and Spain, which 30 people died in. Hurricanes, rumours of war, okay, earthquakes. All these things are happening presently historic floods and these are prophecies within the bible man as i've read so i'm going to read this one more time and close out luke 21 and 25 and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars okay and the, that goes into um genesis tw the first chapter where it tells you that the whole the sun moon and stars were made for signs and the seasons okay and upon the earth, the stress of nations, that's happening via what? Oh, it says stress of, the stress of nations with perplexity. And what's, how's that happening? That's happening via, via um, these, these rumours of wars, these different forms of distress, famines, and things like that. The sea and the waves, and the roaring. Why are they roaring? Because... Of the um, the hurricanes and whatnot, okay. So with that, man, I pray you edified. Say shalom.